Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Alyssa Marie. Special welcome to you. So today I'm going to be digging into the Oma Beauty Foundation. This is a black owned brand that I've really been eyeing for a really long time. I finally went ahead, purchased some of their products, and the foundation really kind of like stood out to me the most. I absolutely love complexion products. Like skin is just I love it. So today I'm gonna to be doing a super in-depth review and like trial. I'm very, very picky when it comes to foundation. So I want to really put it to the test and give y'all all the tea. Before we jump in, please do make sure that you are subscribed to my channel. Just go ahead and hit that notification bell as well so you can be notified every single time the new new drops. All right, let's go. So, da da da, here's the start of the show. This is the Oma Beauty Say What? Weightless Soft Matte Hydrating Foundation. So first off, off the bat, packaging. I love the packaging. It's one of those frosted glass bottles that feels really nice and smooth and expensive. I love their Oma brand logo as well. It's kind of simple but effective and it's like, boom, it's there, it's Oma. Another thing that I found really interesting is that this is a soft matte hydrating foundation so that kind of was like two contradictions to me when I first read it because usually matte foundations are the furthest thing from being hydrating but because it says soft matte and then hydrating it kind of makes me hope for at least the best of both worlds that's kind of my favorite finish I love a foundation that feels lightweight and is comfortable to wear on the skin, but one that is not 100% completely fully matte. I feel like those matte looks are really great for like a super flawless, like full glam nighttime look. But majority of the times, I really prefer to go for something that's a little bit more natural, something that seems a lot more like your skin, and our skin is definitely not 100% flat matte. The thing is, I do have combination skin, so especially since it's summer, I can tend to get a little bit more oily through throughout the day. So what I need is a foundation, kind of like how this is stating it is, which is soft matte but hydrating. And it also says it's weightless. So literally the entire name of the foundation is everything I would ever want in a foundation. Light and weightless, soft matte, not full matte, and then also hydrating. So. I kind of have high hopes for this. I have heard other people say lots of good things about this foundation. I'm really, really excited to go ahead and dig in. So I will say I did order this online and I only ordered one shade, so hopefully this is the right shade. They do have a little shade picker thing where you can answer a couple questions about your skin and then it gives you a shade recommendation. So I ended up going with the shade Honey Honey T3W. Oh look, I just turned it over on the back and it actually says it is adjustable coverage, which means it's probably buildable. So it says for medium coverage, use sparsely. For full coverage, use generously. For extreme coverage, apply multiple layers. So I kind of like that as well. There are some foundations that are pretty sheer and like no matter how much you add on it, it just still ends up looking sheer and it doesn't really cover anything. I like the fact that this is actually buildable and you can use it to your strengths or use it to your situation. So if you want full glam and full coverage, you can get it. Otherwise, if you want like more medium coverage, which is usually what I go for and is probably what I'm gonna go for today, then you just use a little bit less and then it'll be fine. So off the bat, everything on the bottle the name of the foundation the packaging like it just all sounds perfect and i'm really really hoping that this foundation can live up to the name let's dig in actually before we jump right into the foundation i'm gonna go ahead and prime my face first my absolute favorite primer ever is the soft matte primer by fenty beauty i figured why not use a soft matte primer with a soft matte foundation right you can't go wrong Dang, my little mini size is almost done. So the thing I love about this primer is that it is super hydrating without being crazy dewy. I used their hydrating primer the other day and that thing was so dewy, it was like too dewy for me, especially for summertime. It's probably something that I'll use more often during the winter. But this soft matte primer is like an all year round kind of thing. It's like perfect all the time. I've also used this with multiple different foundations. I've never ever had an issue with it. So I wanted to give this foundation the best chance of working. If it doesn't work with this primer, then we got a problem. All right, let's dig in. Okay, first thing I'm noticing is this is super watery. Do you see that? Do you see how it's just like kind of running down my finger, like water? So let's go ahead and just apply. So because I am going for like that medium coverage, I'm not going for full, super full coverage. I'm just gonna use a little bit 
and then continue adding more if necessary. I'm finding the consistency really different. It's weird to have a foundation that's so watery. Okay, right off the bat, I'm noticing a little bit goes a long way. So this can definitely give you some full coverage. Wow. Hold on, wait a minute. Do you see how that just kind of like melted into my skin? Also, I did do a fantastic job picking the right shade online. Their shade picker was perfect. This is the perfect shade for me. So, can you guys see, I have a couple of dark spots on my face, I have a little bit here, I have a few like on my chin area, and you can kind of see them still coming through. So I did use a very little bit of product, so I will go in more to see if we can get those covered. But so far, I'm definitely feeling the weightless vibe, it kind of just blended right into my skin and just, it feels like I literally have nothing on right now, honestly. Go ahead and go in with a little bit more. This consistency is still just so weird to me. I feel like because it's so watery, it can tend to get a little bit messy, especially because it is a pump bottle. So that's kind of one thing that I'm like. So the second layer definitely gave us a little bit of added coverage and again it still feels very very weightless. I guess that's all attributed to that watery kind of consistency. It does actually feel super lightweight but I still am getting this kind of coverage. Also let's take a quick note at this finish right now. It is very much light skin which is exactly what I was hoping for and what I love. So so far it looks pretty good. I think I'm gonna add a little bit more to this little dark spot I've got going on and then a little bit on my chin and around my mouth. That is where I have the most discoloration. Okay, so the thing I like about this is literally the more you add, the more coverage you get. It just sits on top of each layer and really offers you more coverage so you can just really like keep applying bit by bit by bit until you get the amount of coverage that you want and then stop when you're good you know and i kind of like that because you got a good level of control and it makes the foundation like very versatile so i can slap on layers and layers when i'm trying to be flawless but if it's just a daytime simple look then i can just keep it pretty simple and lightweight as well i like this Okay, and you know what? The thing that I'm also noticing is that even though I'm continuing to apply more and more on top of each layer, it's not getting cakey. It's kind of just sitting there and like all the layers are just melting into each other and like it just all looks and feels like skin. It's still feeling pretty, pretty lightweight and I love that. Wow, I'm a little impressed. I think I'm most impressed about how weightless it feels. So I was complaining about this consistency, but I think that's really attributing for it being so weightless and feeling so like comfortable to wear on the skin. It feels really good. Honestly, right now, so far, it is a living up to its name. It is everything. It is weightless, it is a soft mat, but it is also hydrating. Like I'm getting all of that in the way it feels and in the way that it looks. Wow, I'm a little impressed. I really do love this shade as well. It is such a gorgeous, warm tone shade without being too orangey. I found that with a lot of the Fenty Beauty foundations, they are super, super orange. So I actually have to go a lot lighter in Fenty to make sure that I don't get that orangey kind of look. But with this, it's like the right skin tone and it's the right undertone as well to where it's not like crazy orangey. I'm not getting Oompa Loompa vibes, which is great. Okay, Oma, why did I wait so long? All right, so let's give this an up close and personal look in my little Sephora squad mirror. This looks so bomb. This is like a magnifying mirror, okay? So I can see everything and this looks so smooth. 
The one thing I will say is I feel like it's settling into my pores a little bit. I think I maybe should have applied a little bit more primer into my pores because I am seeing my pores a little bit. But besides that, it's looking pretty good, huh? Hopefully my concealer can kind of conceal away those pores. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of my face. I'm gonna zoom past this really quickly because we're really focusing mostly on the foundation. I'm really just gonna be seeing how well this foundation can work with the rest of all of my face products. So my concealer, my bronzer, all of that stuff. For concealer, I'm using the e.l.f. Hydrating Camel Concealer in a satin finish. And this is the shade Medium Beige. All right, this is looking great. This concealer is very hydrating, so you can see it added a little bit of additional dew. So I'm gonna go in with my translucent powder. This is by Range Beauty. To set this all in place and make sure that we're not gonna go too dewy or crazy. All right, so now I'm about to go in with some fancy cream bronzer. I love, love the cream bronzer, and I really want like a bronzed goddess kind of submarine look for this. So I'm about to go in. So even all of this dabbing on top of the foundation with a cream product is still like not really budging the foundation at all. I know these Fenty cream products are super, super high quality. They are amazing. But I was so curious to see how this foundation would work with them as well. And so good so far. It's not picking up the foundation. It's not looking splotchy or anything on this side. Like. It looks pretty good. So I'm gonna continue actually testing out the whole cream products. So now we're doing cream on top of cream with this foundation to really put it to the test. So I'm using the Cream Blush by Fenty in the shade Rose Latte. It's this beautiful, like rosy, brownish kind of shade. Again, I'm not seeing any issues with the foundation, like, separating or like if there's any holes in the makeup where I'm dabbing on the cream products like I'm not seeing any of those issues at all it just still looks flawless seamless boom like this is making me feel really pretty today wow oh my gosh I just look alive and youthful and glowy I'm feeling this entire vibe all right and then for highlighter I'm gonna grab my favorite black up highlighter palette this is the one they did in a collab with Jenny Jenkins and this is their highlighting palette O2. it is so good I mean talk about a summer must-have I love this thing all right, and then the last step for complexion, I'm actually gonna go in with my Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. This is the Bomb.com, actually the best setting spray I've ever used. Wow, this is so pretty. Wow, the more that I do to my face and the more that I add, I just, I'm loving this foundation. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is just finish up a little bit of light work on my eyes, a little bit of light work on the lips, off camera, and then I will be back to finally discuss my final thoughts on this foundation. Ta-da! Okay, so I've done my eyes, but I wanted to come back and do lips because when I was ordering my Oma foundation, I also ordered some of their lipsticks, so I figured that I would actually do that on camera so you guys can check those out as well. So, I only ordered two just to start me off and just to try. So the first one that I have here is called Sade, and it is a beautiful red. I mean, it's like a bright, super bright, corally looking kind of red. And then the other shade we have here is called Angela. And this is a gorgeous nude brown. One thing I've also noticed is I'm obsessed with their lipstick packaging. It feels really thick, it's very unique, it's white, and when you close it, it has like this little magnetic effect that just makes it feel super expensive, super nice, high quality. Like these are the bomb.com. I will 1000% be ordering more of these. So here are the swatches. What do y'all think I should go with for this look? I mean, I feel like either one could go for this look. I've got a red bandana in my hair, so I'm wondering if maybe we do red to match it, or do we do the nude? Cause y'all know I love my nudes. You know what? The red is kind of calling out to me, so I think we're gonna go in with some red. My gosh, look at how bright and beautiful. Ta-da, 
here is the final look. I'm actually really digging the red bandana with the red lips. That's cute. So final thoughts. I think this foundation, this company in general, Oma Beauty, it's a small black owned company, but they definitely are talking something. All right. This foundation is actually giving me life right now. I love it. And again, I still feel that super weightless feeling. It's crazy because you guys saw me doing all of those layers on top of layers just to make sure I got like the right amount of coverage. But again, it still just feels so light and airy and weightless. Like it truly actually lives up to its name. Now I was skeptical because its name claimed a lot. It said weightless, soft matte, and hydrating. And I was like, how are you gonna do all three of those things? You know, but I genuinely feel like I got it all. I just think it gives such a beautiful glow and with it being so comfortable to wear, I actually feel like this might be one of those foundations that I reach for quite frequently. Let me come a little closer so y'all can see all the details, okay? Smooth. It smoothed me right out. And the fact that it's so comfortable to wear, man, I think that is my favorite part. As for the lipstick, it's not as matte as I was expecting it to be. It's a little bit more buttery. It's got a little bit of a shine going through, but the color payoff is amazing. You really, really get that pigment. Like this brightness is really giving me all kinds of life. Now I gotta go take 100 pictures because I look cute and I feel like people need to see this. And you know what? Because it's not like overly dewy or anything, I'm actually not worried about how it's gonna work throughout the day. Oh, it's so good. I'm very, very impressed. Like I said, I'm super picky with foundations and I was really skeptical, but it actually lives up to its name. So yeah, that is basically it for this video. Bottom line, 10 out of 10 recommend. I really hope you guys enjoyed this and found it useful. If you did, go ahead and give your girl a thumbs up and also comment below and let me know if you're liking this style of video. I'm really picky when it comes to certain things, so I love to give good in-depth reviews that are honest and like literally share all the tea with you. So comment below if you wanna see some more of those. And also, before you leave, I got two more videos for you right here. I'll catch y'all in the next one, bye.